bouquets to make, so one for women subscription and one um, just like a random bouquet order. So one of them is supposed to be very green with a few um, light flowers, light colored flowers. So I got the paper whites, the most gorgeous ranunculus, and these green ranunculus as well. Look at this beauty. Pink ranunculus. Honestly, I'm obsessed. So this is an Umi subscription that I made today. Um, yeah, if you are from Vilnius and you would love to have fresh flowers every week, hello, um, then DM me on Umi's Instagram and uh, yeah, you can subscribe to have weekly fresh flowers. Here I go, I'm going to deliver this. If I do say so myself, it looks gorgeous. Hey guys, it's full on snowing today, massive snowflakes. What's up with that? It's April, snow in April. And um, it's Easter this weekend. I mean, it's, it's crazy, it's like Christmas time again. Anyway, I'm off to pick up my book order. This is the style. I mean, will we ever get out of our puffer jackets and scarves? So sick of this look, honestly. I'm currently baking sweet potatoes uh, using the recipe I saw on Instagram Reels. Um, it's just like making little accordions of sweet potatoes. This is the dinner tonight. Um, the potatoes, sweet potatoes, turned out pretty good, but they're not crunchy. I don't know what I did wrong. Because um, my sweet potatoes never end up crunchy. They're sort of soft but they look delish and then um, i've got baby pizzas from little some burrata and cherry tomatoes that i roasted for like 15 minutes in the oven every time i get a new order dorian's dream comes true Just got back home. I'm sitting in my kitchen because the light is the best here or in our um, bedroom. As you might have noticed, I always film in those two spots because I'm like right in front of the window. Um, yeah, I was out all day since the early morning because Auxa was here. She arrived um, yesterday evening. Um, she flew from Shanghai to Milan, she spent a few days there with our mutual friends, Sormas and Carlos. She, they went to Tuscany together uh, for a few days and then she flew to Vilnius yesterday and um, yeah, um, we had um, dinner together at home, some wine and we caught up because we haven't seen each other in a few months. Aksa, by the way, is my best friend, for those that don't know or are new here. Um, so yeah, we went out this morning and I just got back. It's evening already. Um, we had lunch together today and um, she was like running errands. I was running my own errands and then I had some meetings and just got back home as I said. So I wanted to show you a few things. I'm about to go um, and deliver Umi flowers. I uh, made an order. Let me show you. It's beautiful. Voila. Look at these poppies. I peeled the, the green uh, furry petals to, you know, reveal the beauty of the poppy. And then there's a pink poppy. I didn't know it would be pink because it was like all closed up. It's gonna open up like this. Oh, such a beautiful flower. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap those. I wanted to talk about a book that I was reading this morning. I read half of it already. It's basically just six essays by Zadie Smith. I think I'm gonna finish it today, but I honestly wanted to recommend it. It's such a lovely book. I also want to mention a perfume that I'm currently loving. It's Bal de Freak from Bayredo and I think I talked about it, didn't I? Um, I discovered it, like fully discovered it in Stockholm when we went for Rocco's birthday because everything there, it's a Swedish brand, 
one of the reasons it was in the hotel. So we had shampoo, body lotion, shower gel, hand cream, um, soap, hand soap, everything in this scent. So now it smells of that trip of Stockholm to me and it's just such a gorgeous scent. I fell in love with it there and then. So I came back home and I had to go and get it. And now I cannot stop wearing it. It's like amazing. But Auxa also did bring another of my favorite perfumes from China. It's from Aramag. I still have like a little bit of this left in my purse. And she said they don't make it anymore. So the brand is Aramag and it's Musky Moonlight. So you can only get this fragrance in China and apparently, yeah, she had to contact the brand to get it for me, but I'm so thankful. It's a such a gorgeous perfume. Like, I'm I'm so sad they're not making it anymore, but Augusta said, like, don't worry, I'll, you know, find a way to get it for you. So it's a sweet gift from her. By the way, on my lips, I've got Road Peptide Lip Treatment. I'm loving it. I filmed a Hailey Bieber-inspired like a recreation of her Valentine's look. And so I have all of her products, so I try them in that video. Uh, it's on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. That's my handle. And check out that video. But yeah, Road is hyped up for a reason. Absolutely adore these lip balms. I have to go, so I'll show you the vases that I got um, tomorrow probably because by the time I get back home it will be probably too dark. But yeah, I got a beautiful vase for Umi, for summer, for the new season that I want to show you guys. So yeah, um, I'll catch you tomorrow, bye. Hey guys, we're just getting ready to go to Klaipeda, my hometown for Easter to celebrate with our families. And uh, yesterday I told you I would show you the vases that I recently got. So basically it's like a little treat to myself and a business investment as well for Umi Floral because I'll be using those vases for a wedding decor. Uh, so they're both from Firm Living. It's a brand, it's a Scandinavian brand um, that I absolutely adore. Uh, I believe it's Danish, but I'm not too sure. So uh, they have a collection called Tuck and there are there's a candle um, that's in one of their vases. There's a medium-sized uh, vase and then there's <laughs> and then there's a huge, um, I don't even know, like maybe this big of a vase uh, in the exact same style. So I absolutely love them. And I got the candle. It comes in three different colors, so like navy blue, then this really dark brown and this um, taupe color. So got the taupe one and this is a chamomile scented candle so once i'm done burning it i'll use it for decorating weddings with and uh, i want to get maybe like six more of these so that i can use them as candles and then um, reuse them as vases because i think they're so beautiful and would just look incredible on a wedding tablescape i love anything that's like handmade and irregular looking sort of organic so yeah i do really want to get the the massive one but um definitely more of these so this is my first one and then um they also have these vases called verso and here it is um in Lithuania you can get a firm from scandiamo um that's where i got these from but you can also order them on firm website firmliving.com um, this is not an ad in any way. This is just me. <laughs> this is just me spoiling myself. And it comes in this beautiful terracotta color that I love as well in um, bright royal blue in black with little like speckles and this um, cream colored one. I got this one because it's neutral and you know the most um, versatile for weddings because you know all of my own vases have to be like um, neutral white or clear or you know like light beige or something so here it is how incredibly beautiful is that it just says firm on the bottom i think it's very grecian um yeah like a almost like an empty grecian vase um, I absolutely adore it and even like both of these together next to each other 
looks so beautiful like imagine these with gorgeous floral arrangements in them i love these so yeah dorian is like sitting next to me waiting to <laughs> rip this box um so yeah just wanted to share with you guys in case you're looking for something beautiful for your home um and yeah i have to go now like run the last um, errands before we leave and i'm so excited to go back home and go to the beach i miss the beach so much and i'm sure dorian does as well um, just have lovely family walks and you know celebrate easter i'll i'll probably see you soon I'm about to do my makeup just having my coffee and i thought i'll do like a little catch up with you guys chat with you while doing my makeup it's mid of the week already and i'm getting ready to go to a coffee shop to do some work for a couple hours um before i need to get back home and get the flowers ready for pickup i'm gonna apply my road peptide glazing fluid um how have you guys been do let me know in the comments we've been having such beautiful sunny weather that's one of the reasons i want to work from a coffee shop today instead of being home because we don't really get sunshine in our house just in the evening I just got a notification that my new pollen bag has arrived it's one of their big tote bags and there was a waiting list for those bags because they were sold out in all of the colors and recently i've been so lucky i've been working with pollen so it's actually the second bag that they've sent me recently and i'm so excited to pick it up and i know it's gonna fit my laptop and like my water bottle it's like a perfect um sort of work bag see so, yeah, i think i'm gonna do an unboxing here on camera recently i've been carrying this one um that Pollen sent me it's their tonka bag which is i think it's their newest model um it opens up like this and yeah, it's got a, a long strap and it goes just across your body like this. Which is nice for when you want to have your hands free. Um, it's very convenient, I would say. The quality of their bags is so beautiful. And I think their prices aren't too bad. Uh, I mean, they're not as expensive as, say, you know, designer, high-end designer brands. But I would say you still get designer quality for the price that you pay so it's like very good price and quality ratio i'm just using my refi bronzer in tan cream bronzer which at first when i first tried it i wasn't keen on but the more i use it the more i enjoy it because it's not too orangey it looks i don't know it just makes me look 
sun kissed, I think. And for blush, I've been absolutely obsessed with this Rose Ink blush in Azalea. I used it in my Hailey Bieber Valentine's um, recreation uh, look that I posted on Instagram. So do check it out if you want to see the full look. I also posted it on YouTube Shorts. This is like a one minute version of that look instead of like 10 minutes. Um, where I used the bronzer and the blush as well. And honestly, it's just so pretty. I cannot get enough of it. It just makes you look flushed. And you know, when you get sunburned, you do get red. I mean, at least I do. So it almost also gives you that sunburned look, which I love. That's why I apply it like through the center of my face. And I like to apply it on my lips as well. Also in that video, I used uh, this Hourglass Scattered Light um, Glitter Eyeshadow in Aura, and I cannot stop wearing it. It's the most beautiful thing. And I just use it with my finger, on my eyelid, on its own, just for like this pinky glimmer. For daytime, I don't feel like wearing um, eyeshadow, so I just... I've been using this glitter, which is so pretty. It's just a little something special on your eyes. Mm. By the way, I haven't mentioned this. My mom and I are going to London. Um, we're going there for King Charles coronation, actually. I know this is such a mad decision to go there during that time because London will be so hectic. It is a pretty hectic city anyway. So I suggested to my mom to go there. I was like, would you like to go to London with me for the coronation? She was like, okay, I'm listening. She's never been there and I've been to London once. I absolutely loved it and I really wanna go back. And I think it would be lovely to just explore it with my mom. It's gonna be warm and sunny and it's spring. I, I think it's gonna be so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited to go. And I'm not a royalist or anything, but I am very interested in the royal family. I've seen The Crown, I watched uh, all of the documentaries and it just fascinates me. I don't know, not gonna lie, and I used to be so against Charles, but, you know, after watching The Crown and then also his interview, my opinion on him changed completely. I don't know, he may not be the best king, but he doesn't seem like a, a bad human being, you know? You know what, if you have any good suggestions for places to go, do let me know in the comments like cool shops and uh, coffee places maybe like super nice food places it can be anything from fancy places to like street food it doesn't really matter uh, i think we'll be up for you know trying anything really anything that's good um so yeah i watched um estes i think it was her reel a new reel and um, she showed this new place in London, in Notting Hill, called Dorian, that has just opened up. And I was like, I need to go there. Now I use a combination of these two. Um, this is Chanel, their new palette. Um, eyeshadow and blush palette. I recently did a Chanel tutorial using this. I just need to apply my lip liner. This is Bamboo by Arkansas. Oh, I love this lip liner, it's such a good color. And um, Road Peptide Lip Treatment has been the best thing. My new favorite perfume, Valde Freak. Always sprayed in my hair, so I'm ready to go, just need to get dressed. Oh, I also wanted to talk about a couple of books really quickly, books of short stories. So I recently read this one. I just lent it to my sister-in-law. I told her it's really good and worth a read, but it's by Zadie Smith. Um, it's actually a very quick read. It's a tiny book, 
but the short stories there are so profound, so thought-provoking. Um, I actually had discussions uh, with Rakas on, you know, certain topics in the book. I loved it. It was written in 2020 during the pandemic, so it touched a lot of those subjects and, um, you know, how we're living through those times, how our everyday changes. And I loved how Zadie jumps through her thoughts, but in such a seamless way that you, like, you don't notice. It's not like jump cuts, you know? Her thoughts move on to another thing and they blend so beautifully together into this gorgeous story. Wow. I, yeah, honestly, really, really loved it. And now I started this one, No One Belongs Here More Than You, stories by Miranda July. It was just a book that caught my eye at a secondhand bookstore. And um, I read one of the stories already. And again, what an absolutely gorgeous writing style. I like, I couldn't put it down. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to keep on reading this book. So anyway, I'm gonna take this out, give my hair a little zhuzh. I'm actually going to pick up my pollen bag, do an unboxing and then show you my outfit and um, head to the city. All right, guys, I'm back with the big box. It says the name of the bag here. It's called Sim, I think. This is how I've heard people pronounce it. Let me get the, the box out of this big box. So here's the pollen box. Doran already wants to destroy the, the other box. Um, here we go. Here's the note. It says, Dear Yava, I'm thrilled to share our Sim Camel Grin with you. I hope that you love it as much as we do. Best wishes, Lou. Thank you, Palen, so much for absolutely spoiling me. So here's a little info on the back. Here is the dust bag and here is the bag itself. This is a mini and it's already pretty big. I'm just wondering if it's gonna fit my laptop in here. Okay, let me get the scissors. Okay, the handle protection is off. Now let me take out the stuff that's inside the bag. So here is the inside of the bag. It's got a tag here. And then it also has this little pouch which is so handy, that's actually amazing. I didn't realize it had a pouch, which you can detach if you don't want it, but I think it's great to keep like your um, lip glosses, lip liners, um, maybe like, you know, small items in here that might otherwise get lost in the bag. Maybe more valuable items because it doesn't have a zip, it just has this magnetic closure. And the sides, you can have them close up like this, or you can just open them up. Yeah, I like this shape. It's got these shorter handles um, so that you could carry it like that um, in the crook of your arm or you can carry it as a shoulder bag. Okay, I didn't do this properly because they sort of clip back so you have to open it up and then clip the magnets like this so that it stays. Such a beautiful bag. I love this camel color and I love the grain. I think it will be sort of scratch resistant. So this is what the bag will look like on. A very good bigger daily bag to carry with you. And the shape is so beautiful. So here's my old MacBook Pro. Oh no, it fits absolutely perfectly is it a mini actually i feel like maybe this is the, the big one so i might be a little confused i'm sorry guys but it's pretty big it fits my laptop yeah these are the sizes and the big one is out of stock so i'm so happy um i was able to get it i think this bag is pretty popular so it sells out and then you have to you know, click on notify when available. Sorry guys for the confusion. This is the big one. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to carry this with me today. And yeah, I think this bag will be my everyday bag this whole spring and summer. So thank you so much, Pauline, again. 
Okay guys, as promised, I'm gonna show you my outfit today. So, starting from the top, I'm wearing this um, turtleneck. I recently got it um, at Lindex, found it in their sales section. This is in size medium, so it's a little loose, but I like that. Then my leather jacket is vintage. I've had it for a couple of years now. I love how the sleeves are a little longer. Um, yeah, really into it. The new Poland bag. Sunglasses are actually my husband's. They are... Can't remember the brand. Oh, here we go. This is the brand, Meller. It's a sunny day and I really like them. Then jeans are actually my husband's as well. Um, so yeah, these are Rocco's jeans. They are from Zara and these are size 32. And I actually was about to get men's jeans from Massimo Dutti until I tried Rocco's jeans. He has lots of jeans. He's a jean person. So am I. And I wanted that sort of low waist um, slouchy boyfriend fit. And these are so perfect for that. They're perfect for the slouchy look and I love that light wash. And then I'm wearing my new vintage Chanel ballerinas that I'm absolutely in love with. They're gorgeous. I bought them in such a great shape. They almost look new. They're barely worn and I love the contrast with like boyfriend jeans, a little, you know, tougher leather jacket and then curly ballerinas. I'm feeling really good in this outfit. This is very much my style right now. So, all right, off I go.